or do I look at the camera? You look at me. So okay. we're just going to have a conversation, All yes. Right, okay. right? We're just going to have a conversation. I'm just making sure I've got you in shot at the minute. And I'm just going to nestle that against my bra just to give it a bit of extra support. <laughs> <laughs> like my friend, she was Irish, Maggie, and she was so funny. <laughs> Just think of my magic uterus and everything's well in the world, yeah? <laughs> no! Oh right, you ready? Or I'll have you yes. laughing the whole way through yes, it. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I'm ready. Um, so tell me, how did you hear about today's event then? Um, via email. Uh, via uh, Robert Smith. Oh, the Fast Three. Um, yeah, Fast Three Fifty. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, uh, what expectation did you have in your mind then when you came um, to today's event? I think I expected there to be changes, um, and that would be a fantastic weekend. But I was also a little bit mm, unsure as well. I was very unsure, but I thought just go with it. Unsure of the of the power of faster EFT or unsure if this was the right kind of environment for you or wherever you're I think more unsure from my own beliefs um, of my own expectations mm -hmm. because I've done a lot of different courses before a lot of personal development courses and what's inevitably happened is that I have um, started started it felt magnificent and then by about two weeks, I've fallen off the track. Okay. Um, and what is the most valuable thing that you feel you're going to take away from the last two days? That I can do this. That it is easy. That it is doable. And when I say easy, I don't mean, oh gosh, it's so easy. I'm going to just be able to do it by myself. Quite easy, which I think I can do it quite easily. Um, it's the process itself. I've always... In my head, I've always got the image of it being difficult, of being hard, being like walking through mud, drying mud. So I've always made it really difficult in my mind and inevitably it's always been really difficult. Is there a highlight moment that stands out for you from the last two days? It's really hard to choose because there's so, been so many. I think for me, it's when we did the, I'm not sure what it's called, the, the kind of like the, the session towards the end of the day two, mm -hmm. uh, when we talked about a problem and worked our way through it. That was dynamic. In yeah. fact, I wanted to run away initially. I got ready. When our Deirdre actually said, we're gonna do this, I got ready to run. And I was looking at the door and I was looking at what everybody else was doing and I was about to run upstairs and um, get lost for 20 minutes and then come downstairs and um, <laughs> and then all of a sudden somebody came and stood in front of me and said oh I need somebody so I couldn't escape entrapment entrapment <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go through the process and I was really really glad that I went through the process because I had a huge shift a really dynamic amazing shift so with that in mind yeah. how do you feel about the next 12 months that lie ahead from today I think from today the next 12 months are gonna be where I really get comfortable in my own skin and where the things that I've tried to escape from for a long time will just I wouldn't say just disappear like that, but will just fall away. And where I'll be able to achieve what I've always set out to achieve. And I think it will be, I think it will come to me as I let go, as I release and let go, I think the what I'm really, what I'm really attracted to will be drawn to me. I really honestly believe that. It's gonna be an amazing, fabulous 12 months. The 10th of April, 2017, here I come. Here I come. I've noted it. <laughs> and do you have any recommendations for improvements that we can make? Um, for me, because I have a visual disability, and also because I, I like to really, really immerse myself into the information, I would love if 
is the material that was on the uh, whiteboards was actually in the planner because then I, when I went home last night I made quite a few notes but there's some things that I'd forgotten and I couldn't remember so that if we had a lot of those notes in the planner then we'd still make notes but that would be our own personal notes so I think that would be that would be absolutely brilliant okay great yeah.